We are back playing another Chilla's art game today. We're going to be playing Night Delivery. And I don't really know too much about what we're going to be doing besides delivering at night. What the hell am I looking? Oh. <laughs> it's like, what the hell am I looking at? Well, um. What, am I supposed to work right now? Like. This is my last stop. After I deliver these five packages, I'm done for today. Okay. I got five packages left. Let's start with the big one, okay? Get the big one over with first. Room 206 package, okay. I gotta go to room 206. Why are we working so late? What was that? Can I just leave it in here? I think it'll fit. 206, yeah, I feel like this would fit in here. I don't know why I can't just... <sighs> F Amazon for real, like seriously. They've got me out here at midnight just so I can make this prime delivery. Like it's time for me to go home and go to sleep. It's no, it's no hour for me to be out roaming right now. It's really not. 2.06. Okay, so I can just... What? Can I just leave it? Oh my god, I have to knock on the door. I feel like doorbell is like the most annoying option, so I'm gonna do that. Okay, uh, let me do it again. <laughs> Come on, I know it's midnight, but I'm standing out here with your damn package. Get out here. Wait, what? I lost my, oh. <laughs> I was about to say I lost my doorbell ring uh, privileges, but here <laughs> here's the person. Oh. You took way too long. Get the hell out of my face. Okay. I mean, what happened to hello? Hi. What? Okay, well he missed. So, nice fucking try. All right, let's do... Let's do this real flat one. Why do we have to do it one by one? Honestly, good question. Also, how do these packages change shapes like that? But this is room uh, 502, so let's get up there. Can I take the elevator? Oh. Here we go. Five. Here it is. Doorbell. Hello. Thanks. I have a reward for your great service. You love cats too, don't you? How does this person know anything about me? Take it and be gone, okay. What? Oh, cat food. Thank, Thank you. The hell am I gonna do with this? Okay, um, let's do this one back here. Okay, room 401. Oh, um, I'll just, um, excuse me. Okay, um, all right, I'll just go up one more. Now 
Now, why would... Okay. Okay, 401. Doorbell. Hello? A little wider, please. All right, I'll just get right in the crack. Hello. I'm scared. Am I the only one? Who's scared? Stop. Why are you saying Natalie Nunn in the chat? What does that mean? Even if my name was Natalie Nunn, these bitches still couldn't chin check me? Aren't you scared? I mean, yeah, this whole place. It's like I'm becoming a part of them. Never mind. Okay. Um, uh, you want your package or no? I haven't left the room in, I don't know. I stopped counting. Oh, you're here for a package. Yeah, I'm not here for a therapy session. Don't know if I can trust you and your parcel just yet. <laughs> when you're a bit lonely, so you make your delivery person have a conversation with you. Can I have other packages I need to deliver? Can you just take this? Talk to the priest. I can't trust you until you talk to the priest. He said he lives in apartment number 105. Oh my god. And I can't even take the elevator. What the- Where the hell did that come from? <laughs> Alright, I'm going back up. And then... I'm going down. I should've just put the package on the floor and left! Like, what am I doing right now? 105, okay. Doorbell. Oh, hello. I see Michiru sent you here. I'm the local priest. Say no more. I can sense that the package is cursed, but I need to make an offering first before I can perform any sanctification on the object. What? Like this guy ordered this package. We're just delivering it. I don't know what's inside. I'm just the delivery person. Monetary, that is? I am really not getting paid enough for this. What about this? I need cash. Okay, um. Well. Oh, well I could go dumpster diving. Oh, oh my God, a cat. Wait, I have just a thing. Here you go. Okay. Oh, hi, how are you doing? How's the new apartment? In the previous apartment, you had to move because the residents there weren't so kind to you. Is it okay this time? Before there were people who made a fool of themselves about disabilities and welfare, right? I said it many times before, you weren't the bad one. Don't blame yourself. Also, don't be impatient about getting a job. You're my son, you'll be okay. Things will get better. Can I sell this for money? Like blackmail. Like I found your shit in the trash. Now give me some money. Wait, did anybody hear that? Is this water bottle not what was thrown at me at the beginning? Okay, wait, what if I go, I could go back upstairs and try and sell the water bottle back to the guy who threw it. Wait, what is that? I swear I just heard cow- <laughs> Well, is that? Okay, um... I think it was 206, not 506, my bad. Hello? Hello? I have your water. Ugh, what the hell? Oh, what if I go back to the guy who's making me see the priest in the first place and make him give me money? Because what the, what the fuck is going on, you know? 
He's still standing here too with the door open. You spoke to the priest? Directly? How lucky you are. I've only exchanged words for the door intercom. So he needs money. Why, of course. What the priest says is always right. Here, give this to him. Make sure to give this to him ASAP. I don't want the priest to be waiting any longer. Okay, oh my god, I'm a genius. Money. All right, back down to the priest. If I was smart, I would just take this and go. And take the package too and go, honestly. Let me double check the amount. Wait, what? This can't possibly be enough. This seems like some sort of uh, scam. What? It wasn't enough? Forgive me, priest. I hope this much will help. This is all I've got for this month? I have to ask my parents to give me more? All right. All right, I'm back. Let me double check the amount. Wait. Oh, that's enough. Barely, that is. I'll forgive him this time. <laughs> What do you mean this time? Let us begin the ritual. Done. Okay. <laughs> Ooh, now go away. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, hopefully this guy just takes this fucking package now. Because I still have two more to go. I'm ready to take the package now. Now go away. That was fucking clinical. All right, let's do this little teeny tiny one. Room 305. All right. Doorbell. Oh my god. Um. Can I just put this here or? Oh, uh. The door shut behind me. Um, I can't, I can't see. Oh. I'll be right there. I don't think I need to be coming inside to deliver the package. Oh, uh. <laughs> Hello. Oh, what's that? Hey, <laughs> what are you doing? That package, it's a bed frame. You're gonna help me build it, right? Wait, that's the package I just delivered? That was not the size of a bed frame. What are you, what are you looking at? Where do you want it built? Oh, right here. All right, it's done. I don't know if she paid for the like home delivery and setup, but whatever. How do I get out of here? Oh, it's so dark in here. Where does she go? Hello? Where is she? No. 
I don't want to look up. Okay. All right, that's... I was really expecting the worst, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, so it's just coming out of the ceiling. Uh... Where did she... Where did she go? What's going on in here? I need to leave. Okay, the door is open. Thank God. Go under it and open your mouth. That is insane. <laughs> I'm leaving. I'm leaving right now. I'm going back down to my truck. I'm just going to deliver my next package. That is just not my business, you know? It's not my business what's going on here. This is the last one. Room 202. Okay. 202. Okay. Doorbell. Uh, my baby, you have to help me catch him. <laughs> oh my God. You need to get a baby gate. Ugh. All right, where did that go? How am I supposed to find this fucking baby? I'll check upstairs. I like how she said you have to help me find him and she hasn't even moved. Like, she's still standing in the doorway down there. Hello? Oh. What was that? Oh, what's this way? Oh, a playground. Oh, yeah. The baby's probably here. <gasps> oh, hello. Oh, who is this? <gasps> oh, you want water? Yes. Okay. Well, you got used to the new environment. You said you were doing your best to get along with everyone in the apartment. Did you get along well? I know that you are very kind. I hope other people can feel that too. Start with one person first. Also, it's okay to work slowly. You tend to think pessimistically. Try to think positive. By the way, how's the dog? Show me next time, okay? Well, what is your dog doing out here? Well, I was in the middle of saying, I bet the baby is on the playground. I feel like, you know, babies love to play. It is so f***ing dark. I keep finding cans. I can't see a f***ing thing! Okay, I guess the baby's not back here. Okay, I'm starting to think maybe I took the elevator. Let's go to floor three. You know, guys, I'm starting to think maybe, maybe the baby is up on the floor that the blood was dripping from. Which I think would be floor four. Because we were in apartment 305, I think. So like the baby just would be like there. I just feel like it would be there in 405. 402. Oh. Wait a second.
What's all over the walls? Is that a picture of a refrigerator? <laughs> um, what the f What the f is this? Wait, are these teeth? Are these photos of teeth? that sound? Am I getting diarrhea? I think I have bubble gut. I mean, what is this? If I saw this in real life, I would probably get bubble gut too. This is making me nervous. What the f*** is going on? Wait, what's that? I'm freaking the f out. Like, I have no idea what the hell is going on. Like, where does our. Do you guys hear that? Oh, hell no. I didn't realize there was another room. Why is the tooth taking a bath? God, there's teeth everywhere. I hear the baby, but I don't know where it is. It has to be in this like room over here that I can't open. Oh, I can open it now. What the f is it doing in here? And what the hell? Okay, come come here. Oh, okay, I got it. Um, let's get out of here. Open window. Okay. I feel like I have baby like armor, so that's why I didn't mind opening the window. But what was that? What was that? Hello? I feel a lot safer with this baby in my hands. Well, let's just get back down to Mama's house. I think it was on floor two. Did the, oh. Yeah, that's what I thought. The elevator just broke. Oh. Where's the baby? Well, I'm gonna press uh, this. What? Hello? my car or 
truck, I guess I should say. Wait, what? I already delivered all these. Money? I think I'm on drugs. Where's the priest? Oh, diary. This morning, I saw Yukichi in room 105 walking. He seems to be a priest, and I thought he was a kind person, so I went to talk. What is the weak person doing? I don't want to see it. Just useless without money. Never show up in front of me ever again, he said. Maybe he was in a bad mood. Oh, I wonder if there's like a little diary entry at every person's door. Oh, I can just pick them all up. Get to 202, but maybe I can get to 206. No, okay. Here's another ladder. <laughs> Bitch, this ain't Docket Kong. <laughs> you mean Donkey Kong? That's <laughs> why is that sending me? But for real, the Hey, Donkey Kong, why am I climbing up all these ladders? Well, maybe my theory, I feel like, is doesn't even make any sense. So, oh, wait. No, it does make sense. Because I could climb down this one to get to probably 202. Yes. Take this package, bitch. The baby was walking outside this morning. He is adorable. That is Mariko's child in room 202. As soon as Mariko noticed me looking at her son, she grabbed her son and took him inside the house. Please stay away from my son. Am I like a germ to her? Well, just mind your own business. All right, let's climb up. Four oh one. could I do that? No, of course not. And I also need 305. I'm gonna climb up here. This is crazy, the lengths I'm going through to deliver packages right now. 306, no. Oh, but I could get down to 206. Okay. At night, Mr. Takeo in room 206 was carrying a box filled with beer cans. I said, do you mind me helping? Why the f are you trying to help? If you have time to help, you shouldn't be on welfare. You're just a burden to society, said Mr. Takeo. What? I wonder if people around me think that way. Alright, where do I need to go now? 305, 401, and 
502. All right, I bet I can get 305 here. Yes. Marisa in room 305 is a student. She's also a part-timer at the nearest convenience store. I can tell she's a hard worker and I respect that. When I thought she wouldn't say hello when we passed each other for the first time this morning, she said, Are you stalking me, you ugly f I wasn't stalking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Damn. Um, alright. I just need to get to 401 and 502. Oh, here we go. 502, 401. Okay, I can get 401 here. I thought I could get along with Michiru san in room 401 since we were close in age. I've never seen him out of his room. I decided to visit him. He finally came out for the third time. I don't think anyone can get along with someone like you, he said. That's it. The door closed immediately. Well, here is my ladder to- oh, never mind. Oh, here it is. Alright, 502. Today, I gave a cat can to Erica in room 502. I also have a dog, so I wish I could get along well. She told me I was disgusting, but I believed there were no bad people who love animals. I was hurt, but... Okay, well, the elevator's back on, so I'm getting the f*** out of here. What? <laughs> the big rock in front of the elevator. Well, can I just leave? Oh my god, I keep feeling like I hear I'm hearing people behind me. Can I just get in the car and leave? Oh, the elevator. It's glowing green, so it's giving me this vibe that I'm supposed to get in it. What floor should I go to? Four, two, five, two. I'm gonna go back to that uh, apartment that has all the teeth in it. Oh my God. That just sent a chill through my body. I just got full body chills. Ah! Oh my God, that actually sent a shiver from my head to my toe, H to T. Why am I holding this baby? <laughs> I okay. Am I on floor two to get this baby back, or where am I? Yeah. Okay. Is this floor two? Yeah. Okay. Well, where did the mom go? Oh. You're welcome. Okay. I think it's time to go home. I don't know what that all was with the ladder. It's maybe a quick little hallucination, but I'm back and I delivered all the packages and it's time to go home. Wait. No. No. What is this? I'm just gonna say no. Oh my god, I have to. Room 404. Oh 
God. I'm actually traumatized from taking the elevator. Like, I really am. I have to cover my eyes. I'll just put it right here and then I'll be going. Okay, I'm not sure what that says. A welfare document. Okay, so this is the person's apartment who's been writing all of these journal entries that we just read. Oh, he's been bullied so much by the residents here. I'm really afraid that I'm gonna hit like his victim. Oh God. I feel like I should like go anywhere else but inside that fridge but it might be my only option oh my god not the tooth okay 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 i'm gonna open it Killed all of them? <laughs> Stop saying so no head in the chat when you, I go over to this body. Like, <laughs> have some decorum. Landlord. Wait a second. I'm a landlord? One oh one. Okay, I'm a little confused. Did I just watch a tape? And I know that there's dead people up here? Killed? Oh man. Is that a foot? <laughs> oh. 
Oh, I got ending two. So there's two endings you can get in this game. I have a feeling I got the bad one. Wait, let me pull let me pull up the ending they explained, okay? I just pulled it up. The people who lived in the apartment building did not get along with the person who lived in apartment 404. We know that. But basically, we find out that that person's actually dead. He's stuffed inside a fridge in the middle of room 404. There's a few theories about what happened to him, that he was killed or that he committed suicide. I guess we don't know for sure. But basically the apartment complex is haunted by him. So in the first ending that you could have gotten that I didn't get, you discover the fridge and you know that. So you report it to the police and the landlord and all of the residents are arrested. But in ending two, which is what I got, we see all the bodies of the residents scattered around and it's it says maybe his spirit finally got his vengeance and killed them all. And then we switch to the landlord's POV, run up there, and we end up getting attacked and maybe even killed by his spirit. So we died. What happened to the delivery driver then? I don't know. I think I, that was not any of our business as the delivery driver. We just delivered our packages and we got the f out of there. Either way, guys, I hope you enjoyed that game. I have really been loving these Chilla's Arts games. And this one... This one sent a shiver through my body like none other. Like, I will just not get over it. Um, anyway, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye, YouTube.